Welcome to A Sky Full of Stars. This is a program where we talk about the titles of Our Lady, in the Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Each Saturday, we explore one particular title, so that in one year, we would have honored Our Lady with all the titles in the Litany. Join us each week, as we chit-chat about the different virtues that the Church ascribes to Our Mother. Before we begin this week's episode, let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now, Let's lift the veil of Mary's many titles, and get to know the Lady within. Today, we will reflect on the title, Virgin Most Prudent. Hello and welcome to this episode of A Sky Full of Stars. This is a program where we honor and learn about each of Mary's titles, each Saturday. I am your host, Joby Provido. In this episode, we will reflect on the title, Virgin Most Prudent. Now, prudence comes from the word, from the word prudentia, which is a contraction of the word providentia. It means to see ahead. So someone who is prudent can see how his or, or her actions will result in. So prudence is one of the cardinal virtues. It helps us discern what is good for us and our relationship with God and also chooses the right means of achieving it. So uh, an example of uh, prudence is uh, one of the parables of our Lord of the, the, the 10 virgins and the foolish virgins, another name for it, when there were 10 virgins waiting for the bridegroom and then um, uh, they had their lamps, oil lamps, and then uh, uh, five of them brought spare oil while the others, uh, the oil was running out. And so, um, um, uh, it goes to show that um, you you need to uh, to know what 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 uh, what you should be doing in the future so that the outcome is is something correct. <laughs> so um, now um, part of prudence is considering a decision. So we will talk about the different uh, types uh, of uh, of uh, outcomes of prudence or things that we do with prudence. So one is considering a decision. Now, during the Annunciation, <clears throat> the angel Gabriel told Mary, uh, greeted her with, the Lord is with you. And uh, now, uh, this particular phrase was told to Gideon and, and David also. And it's always, uh, this phrase is always uh, said by God or by the angels uh, when God is asking something from someone. And that is why Mary probably was troubled by the greeting of the angel. Now Luke says that she pondered at what sort of greeting this might be. So this pondering is part of prudence. She's trying to understand, well, is God asking something for me? So there's, there's the prudence there. And he's also, uh, prudence is also considering information to make the right decision. So she, you know, Mary could have just said yes right away. Um, our Lord is uh, asking you to be the more. Yes, okay. You know, <laughs> she could have just said that no, because it's coming for our Lord. But but uh, since uh, the message was coming from God, she, fought, she felt she ought to listen to the whole message first. So that's part of prudence. Try to get, in, try to get the, all the information before making a decision. So prudence also allows us to reflect on things we don't understand Im immediately. So when Mary told that she would conceive, she asked, no, that how, how, how can this be? I, I have no uh, relation with a man. Uh, she had a vow of chastity and uh, uh, she had no plans of having children with Joseph. And so um, uh, it was a question. And, and therefore, trying to understand it, she asks questions. She, re she reflects on it. Uh, during the time also um, of uh, many times uh, in her life, uh, Mary also ponders on these things. For example, um, in um, the after after she found uh, our Lord in the temple, um, uh, Christ said things, 
and she didn't understand. And uh, she, uh, St. Saint, uh, Saint Luke tells us that uh, she pondered. She kept these things in her heart and she pondered. She, she was trying to understand them, even if she couldn't understand them right away. So that's one, that's one, uh, one thing we can do uh, when we are trying to gain some prudence. Now, it is only after hearing all that the angel had to say that she consents. Uh, so, um, that's beautiful, I think. Um, uh, not rushing into action is prudent. Okay? Uh, considering everything is prudent. Now, prudence is also determining actions that put God ahead of ourselves. Now, prudence is also considering the counsel of others. Uh, so, let's take first the determining actions that put God ahead of ourselves. Um, when Mary was being asked to be the mother of, uh, of our Lord, she was already betrothed to Joseph. They were as good as husband and wife. Now, um, what, uh, what others might not realize is that um, if she is found with child, then Joseph would know that it wasn't his. Uh, and she, he could divorce her and make a big thing out of it and uh, call her an adulterer. I mean, you know, she, she, she got pregnant without me, so uh, it must be, you know, it must be somebody, all right. And so um, that was a big possibility, and uh, the um, the punishment for that was a stoning to death, and it was very real at that time. And so Mary was in jeopardy if she said yes. She could, you know. It, there's a poss real possibility that she could be stoned to death. But uh, regardless of that, um, she put God ahead. So that's what we mean. Determining the actions that put God ahead of ourselves. So because God asked it, even if it puts me in danger, uh, then she said yes. Okay? And also prudence, uh, as I mentioned, uh, considers the counsel of others. Now, um, we have to remember that um, Christ was still a baby when uh, King Herod wanted to kill him. And so um, Joseph in the middle of the night was uh, uh, visited by an angel in a dream and told him to go to Egypt. And that night, the way that we read it alludes that he woke up that night and told Mary, you know, we have to go to Egypt this, this moment. <laughs> and so um, can you imagine Mary you know, with a baby uh, and... Uh, I, Probably uh, some 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 of us might be might might be irritated, waking up in the middle of night and taking all our things and having to leave to go and walk the road to Egypt at night, and so it's really it's really terrible to think about it. And but that's what happened. And Mary did we, we didn't we don't hear of any complaint. There was no complaint. She just followed her husband because Joseph is her real husband. He wasn't just a token husband, you know. Is real husband, and so um, she followed him. Uh, that that's prudence also, uh, following you know the authority authority figures, uh, and um, not that Joseph was an authority figure, but it, the, the relationship at the time he, uh, she put Joseph ahead of her because um, he was the head of the family, he was the father of the family, and so prudence also uh, determines our actions to keep us with God. So. Um, uh, during the crucifixion, during the passion of our Lord, Mary was there with the, by, by our Lord. Uh, she planted herself uh, at the bottom of the cross, probably the blood of our Lord staining her. You know, uh, he was she was so close. Um, and uh, some of my, us might think it's very oh that's so that's so uh, that's so cute that's so um, cozy that she's there. You know, but um, we have to think that during that time. Uh, those uh, we have to remember Christ was the, the descendants of Christ what he was a, he was a rebel he was uh, he was trying to overthrow the uh, the Caesar you no know, that was the <laughs> that was the, the, the that was the judgment against him he, he he's an enemy of the state because he is con he is um, claiming to be king and um, therefore um, he's overthrowing Caesar in a way that's the way that's the the the, the, the Sanhedrin was trying to play it <clears throat> and so um, and during that time ev um, when there was a rebellion um, the leader all the the members of the family and all the followers 
were 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 arrested and killed and that's the reason why we don't find any of the the apostles there because they are they were afraid that they would be arrested and crucified together with our lord that that was the common practice at that time and yet we find our lady beside the cross um uh the others the others uh, the other disciples apostles didn't want to be crucified but there she was um uh, metaphorically uh, figuratively crucified with our lord beside him um, on, in, on calvary and so um nothing could 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 keep her away from her son so she put again her son our lord because he is god ahead of her own life so um that's the kind of prudence Our Lady has. So when we invoke this title, we might want to consider that Mary contemplates to do only the right things in the eyes of God. And so we pray, Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. That is it for this episode. If you like this, uh, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button so you won't miss future episodes. Also, if you found this uh, video helpful, please share it with somebody who you think might enjoy it might uh, get something out of it. So this is Joby of the Catholic Talks. May God bless you and may our mother always keep you in her mantle. I hope to see you next episode. Bye-bye. The contents of this program are based on the book, A Sky Full of Stars. Subtitled, Know Our Lady Through Her Titles in the Litany. Hardbound, paperback, and Kindle versions of the book are available on Amazon. In the Philippines, the paperback is available at ourcatholicfaith.net. Get your copy today. This program is brought to you by The Catholic Talks. Join us again next Saturday for another episode of A Sky Full of Stars. Let's fall in love with our mother all over again.